Trinamool Congress MP Kakoli Ghosh Dastadar has denied that her bodyguard misbehaved with fellow passengers on the Rajdhani Express on Monday and she has dismissed the incident as a small matter and has said that the man who has levelled the allegations is part of the CPIM. Ghosh has said that the CPIM man forcibly tried to enter her compartment and was stopped by her bodyguard. Remember, there was massive outrage which was triggered by the conduct of the bodyguard of Trinamool Congress MP Kakoli Ghosh, who allegedly had urinated on two fellow passengers. It is such a nasty matter. It is such a small matter. I don't even want to talk about it because it is cooked up by a pers uh, person who is a resident of uh, my constituency in Salt Lake. He belongs to the CPM party and many times he tried to malign me, he could not. This time when I was travelling by the uh, Rajdhani Express to join the parliament, he tried to enter my coupe number of times forcefully. When I didn't want to meet him, it was in the evening time, if he had to discuss something, he could have written to me, he could have telephoned me. In, in the train, it is not the right time to force somebody's way inside. So I two, three times requested him that I did not want to see him. Uh, last time my PSO pushed him and that is why he must have got irritated he, as it is he was drunk, this fellow. And on the other hand he charged my PSO to be uh, drunk. So this is absolutely a very nasty matter. I don't even want to comment about such small trivial things. Are you going to file a case on him? It's all rubbish. It is all rubbish. Because this fellow, he tried to enter forcibly into my compartment, which I didn't want to, I didn't want to see him that time. I, I, he should, if he wants to talk to me, he can have a, an appointment, he can come to the office, he can ring me up. But running train is not the right time to suffer somebody to come in and talk. I didn't want to see him. Number of times we said that uh, we don't want to, uh, him to enter. In spite of that, he tried to do that. So my uh, CSO just pushed him away and said, next time you come here, I'm going to patch you up. He said that. But he did his duty. I called my superintendent. He said he did his duty. It's a very nasty matter. I don't think we should pay any attention to such nasty people. And I know he belongs to the CPIM. In the past also, lots of times, they have tried to malign me like this in the constituency. I have nothing to say about it. And Prema now joins us. Prema, the conduct of the Trinamool Congress MP's bodyguard is outrageous to say the least. But the MP is justifying the bodyguard's action, alleging that the passenger is a CPIM man. When we spoke to the victim, he said that before his political, uh, uh, before talking about which political party he supports, uh, what comes first is that he's a passenger and that he was harassed. In fact, I have a copy of the complaint with me, and in the complaint, it is mentioned that the bodyguard of Ms. Kakoli Ghosh Dastidar, an MP from Kolkata in a drunken state, urinated on him and the luggage. So clearly, he's not really putting allegations against the MP herself, but against the bodyguard. Bodyguard and all, all he's saying is that the bodyguard was in a drunken state. All right, Prima, thanks for that update.